What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Go Mouth. Coming at you guys to show you guys my protective style. Now, I'm sorry, first off, it took 18 minutes to record this. But anyways, as you can see, two Afro Puff child. Puba told, me, Puba told me it was childish, but I was like, okay, forget you. I'm going to do it anyway. So, anyways, let me show you guys where I got this inspiration from. Um, Instagram. Ooh, I can't even zoom in on a name. Hell, I can't read it myself. But I will leave the link below to her Instagram. But that is an inspiration. That I'm not going to do it like that, but kind of sort of somewhat I, I was inspired by that hairstyle but it's not going to be exact anyways first off first thing you need to do is part your hair down the middle um try not to be crooked like i did because i didn't have my right rat tail comb what i should have had was my rat tail comb that got the um metal uh, rat tail piece on the end so I could have did a good smooth part but I didn't have that so anyways part that in half then part that half in half then go ahead and part and get ready for your braid so now when I get my part straight I wrapped the I wrapped the uh, other piece of the hair out of the way and clipped it so it won't be in my way once I get started I tried to comb through it as much as I can and as you see I'm going to be using jam Ampro Pro Styling Gel, the black gel with the black top. And I am going to be using my Wild Growth Hair Oil, shaking it up really good. And I'm going to apply the Wild Growth Hair Oil to my scalp to make sure it gets good on in there, in there, y'all. And massage it in. Um, you know, I'm using that for hair growth. Y'all already know this a hair growth journey. What's a hair growth journey without wild growth, baby? And virgin hair fertilizer. Don't forget that. But we ain't using that this time. Massage that oil up in there, girl. Get it all up in there. Yes. Yes. Get it up in there. Comb it through again. Make sure I got the tangles out before I braid it. Look at my hair. It look a mess. It's going to grow, Jesus. It's going to grow. It's going to grow. Okay. Now, first off, I'm going to start by using my jam and putting my jams on both sides of my braid i know it look a little white but that's gonna go away trust me it's gonna go away once i rub it in so i'm just gonna put jam on just the outside of the both both braids i mean both sides of the braid yeah my hands starting to hurt already as you guys do know if you don't know by now <laughs> I am a cancer patient and one of the side effects that I did suffer from was neuropathy in my hands. Um, so you might see me shaking my hands a little bit through this video. That's just to shake the pain away. Don't mind me, you know. Hey, let's we just gonna keep moving right on along like ain't nothing happened. So put that um jam on the sides of my hair. Oh, and also that second thing I did, I added gel to both sides of that part too, on both sides as well. I put the jam on first and then I put the gel, a little bit of gel on top of that. So now I'm going to proceed to start braiding. Um, I braided as close to the front of my head as I can. Generally, if my hands was not hurting, I would start off way close to the front as I can and get it as neat and a little bit tighter than that as I can. I know it looked tight, but it's not tight at all. It's kind of loose um, for my liking, but hey, I'm going to work with what I got with these old hands of mine. Praise God. So I'm going to use these hands to get all the way to the back of there through the storm and through the rain, y'all. Braiding on back. Um, I think I'm going to go back as far as I can without braiding all the way to the end. As you can see, the ends of my hair are very thin because I am relaxed. But not because I am relaxed. I'm sorry. Because I did lose a lot of hair. Oh, I'm in pain right now, child. I did lose a lot of hair from the chemotherapy and radiation. But it... It's going to be growing back soon, so stay tuned, child. <laughs> yeah, this this really had me hurting, y'all. This style had me kind of like wanting to give up, but I kept pushing, and I made it through. So I see a little piece sticking up right there, so I am going to put some gel on that piece and just add a little bit around the sides and smooth it out. I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can, just a little tad bit of gel, you know? Just a little bit. I'm barely, it's barely anything on my fingers. I know it looks like I'm putting a lot, but it's like barely anything on my fingers. So that's the first braid. Whew! One down, y'all. Okay, so now I'm just going to go party with this old ratchet comb. Because I ain't got my other rat tail comb because there's too many people in my house messing with stuff. So I can't find my stuff, child. 
So I'm going to break this one again. Like I said, I should have started at the, the very edge, but it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, I'm just critiquing myself, y'all. But it's a decent job for like, <laughs> it looked like a little 11-year-old did my hair, but it's all good. It's 11-year-old hairstyle, so hey, I guess it go together, girl. So I'm just going to keep braiding until I go all the way to the ends Um, and not to... Not no, not all the way to the ends. Close to like get close to the ends, and then I'm gonna stop. The reason why I'm not braiding all the way to the ends is because the ends of my hair are very fragile, as you guys can see. Like I said before, they are very thin, so I don't want the um, I don't want the take down process. As far as when I take it down, I don't want to be trying to take loose no tiny strands of hair at the end and risk. Um, damaging them or making them any thinner or damaging them any further. So I'm going to go on to the third section. Um, massage that wild growth oil up in there. Get it all up in there real good. I came back for that second braid because I, f I think I forgot to put some wild growth in there. But I did end up putting wild growth down those parts. So now I'm getting my jam and I'm going to put that on either side just like I did that first braid. And I'm going to put it up under and above i don't work it through because that's not what it's for oh yeah y'all see how i'm pushing out my baby hair that's going to be left out i'm making sure i push them out before i start braiding because um i don't want to catch none of that hair while i'm braiding because when i'm done i do want to lay my edges y'all already know what time it is so i'm going to go ahead and braid this one down and I'm pointing at the corner right there because I'm going to try to start at the corner of that section. Like that top corner piece. But child, it didn't work out the way my brain um, wanted it. But it's, it'll do, child. It'll do. So I'm going to um, go ahead and start braiding this section. And as I'm braiding, I want to make sure that I'm pulling the hair from the outsides um, as good as I can into the braid. Like the outside of the braids into the braid like that. Make sure I get it all up in there and make, I, uh, make sure I get it as slick as I can. Right there, I'm adding a little bit more. I don't know if that was gel or jam, girl. But one or the other, and I was adding some more. And um, I ended up, I did end up getting a knot on this section at the end of my hair. If you could see, my hands hurting, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, no pain, no pain, no pain. Okay, so yeah, I did end up getting a um, knot at the tip of my hair because the reason why I did that is because I did not pull. As you can see, when you braid, you got to pull your hair all your hands all the way through your hair so it won't get knotted up. But if you can, if you look closely, you'll see a knot at the end of one of those strands. So I ended up getting that out off camera. You probably can't try. Look, it happened so fast you couldn't even see it. Y'all didn't even see it, did <laughs> Okay, y'all do what I just did to the other side the same way, okay? Same way on the opposite side in the front. I already did it. I forgot to turn around and show you. But anyway, child, we're going to go ahead and go to the back. Now, in the back, I parted, you know, the back was parted down the middle already. So what I did was I put it in three ponytails. Three ponytails right there. And then I started twisting them. See, I just twisted them up right here, each one. And as I went and twisted, I got to a certain point, I would grab onto the next ponytail like that, split it in two pieces, and start twisting it with the other ponytail. And I just did that all the way up because there's three of them. So I did the same thing all the way up um, with the whole ponytail. The reason why I did it like this, I really wanted some braids going up but child i couldn't braid upside down today because my hands was hurting too bad so i had to uh stop the press so as i'm getting to the other ponytail i did the same thing with that like, as you can see i twisted it and i split that ponytail in two sections and i twisted it um and added it on into the second uh ponytail so now i'm twisting it all the way to the ends now i'm going to the ends with this one because it's just two strand twist and that won't be easy for me to take apart so once i get that two strand twist in i just put it all in one ponytail and i ended up twisting it around that's a close-up shot i'm gonna end up moving that like right there i kind of put that on top see bam and then i'm just going to twist that ponytail together 
I'm trying to look at it and make sure it's right, y'all. Yes. Twist that ponytail together right there. And I'm going to twist that until the end. Um, I did, I think, child, I don't know if I spray no S curl spray on that or not. Yes, I just bought that up in a little ball, little little ghetto band two knot, patted that down. Oh yeah, they got the S curl spray. Make sure you moisturize that part right there because it's gonna go underneath. Uh your little drawstring ponytail. Now, here you go. Shout out to my girl, Thomas Adriana, for showing me this got to be glued here, honey. So we're going to try this. Y'all know I ain't never tried it before. This has got to be glued for your edges. So I'm going to try this because um, Adri, she always be saying she used that on her hair. So we're going to try it, y'all, and see how it work out. I'm going to have to give y'all an update on a, on a later date, you know, to see how I liked it or not because y'all know I use the even in the purple top the maximum hold or whatever but anyways y'all it feels okay it feel a little sticky it feel a little sticky like a little glue but you know I'm managing maybe that means it's gonna hold I don't know we gonna see her so um I'm trying to lay my edges as good as I can but honey my problem is right now I'm telling you my problem I can't see I ain't got no glasses on. I don't know why God gave me these eyes, but I showed sure thank him that I got some, but I can't see out of them. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to I'm trying to go as, as as good as I can, but they look a little, little ratchet though. Ooh, I don't know about them edges, child. Well, child, we're gonna make do with what we got. In old ways, child. We're gonna go ahead and do this other side of this edge and we're gonna lay it and slay it and fry that and lay it to the side as good as we can, child. Hey, come on, girl, work it. Hurry up now. You take it too long. Slay them edges, boo. Go on ahead. Okay. Okay. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Y'all about to get seasick with them waves. Seasick. Hey, calm them, call that mess up on in there. Okay, now we gonna um try. I was trying to give me a little swerve right there, but it ain't. My little brush ain't acting right. I don't think. I don't think I was ready. This stuff kind of feels sticky. This here um got to be glued. It feels sticky. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about it. It ain't smooth like my other. That's something I have to get used to. Cause I bought that little bottle from the um the CVS. I bought a little one cause I ain't want to get no big one. Uh, cause I ain't know how it was. I bought that little one so I could just practice or try it out for a little while. That's a good thing that they do come in a small size, but, uh, I'm doing the best that I can do without my glasses, y'all. Y'all have to forgive me cause, uh, these eyes of mine that the law gave me, they ain't 2020 vision. Anyway, honey child, that's some elastic QP foaming mousse or whatever you call it. It's a mousse by elastic QP. So I get that and slap it all over my head, all over my head, just all over the head and then all over the front. And now this here going to the back. Girl, slap it on down and up, get them little ponytails and going on up with it. Now you get these here little sanic wraps, you tie them around your head. Y'all, I used to do hair, y'all. So that's how I got all this stuff. Um, time on round, and then it didn't catch, you know, they didn't hold to the back, so I got some, uh, Motions Light Hold Hairspray, and I'm gonna go sit under the dryer, bam, I'm already back, look how fast that was, I came from under the dryer, so all I do is tear them little strips off, you ain't got to untie them, just tear them off, throw them in the trash, I don't really like my edges, I, well, they moved a little bit, child, but I don't know, so these right here is just two drawstring ponytail, just two combs in it and a string, Pull it round, pull it, wrap it round, get your little bobby pins right there. Mm-hmm. Make sure you get those bobby pins, because if you don't get them bobby pins, honey, they might fall out on you, girl. You don't be trusting the, the string on the draw, okay? Don't be trusting that string, because, honey, you miss Ryan be in a hurry, be done, knock them things off your head, you're going to be looking like a fool. Okay, so now I added both of them. Now, here go the clips, girl, bling, bling. Every time I come around the city, bling, bling. See that? Look at that. Ay, she did that. Ay, she did that. And I'm going to do it in the back, too, I think. Didn't I do it in the back? Yes. Y'all see them edges? Y'all see them edges? I think I did them edges over after I came from under the dryer because they look a little different. I think I did them edges over, yes. So I did four in the back. Now, I couldn't hide them, them little rubber bands I put in the back. I didn't use, like, elastic rubber bands. I used the, um... I forgot what you call them thing, the seamless uh, ponytail holders 
from the Dollar Tree, the ones that don't got the little silver clip on them. So they won't tear my hair. I, I did not use them in Lesson Road Band because, honey, it, it's not even that type of party, honey. I ain't trying to be that cute. And why am I looking like that? Why am I looking like that? Okay, I got a little bit more got to be glue, and I don't know what I'm finna do with it, child. What am I finna do? Child, I lost my mind. Look at me. Look at that fake girl. If you don't cut it out, this way I messed up my video with y'all. See, look, <laughs> my video just did whatever it wanted to do at the present time. I'm about to edit this out. No, I am not, girl, because I ain't got all this time. It took me forever to do this, and half of y'all ain't gonna watch my video anyway. Girl, anyway, slick them things up because I don't know which way I'm going with them. I don't know which way I'm going, but anyway, y'all gonna have to excuse this part of the video because this is not finna get edited. I've been working on this video all morning, so thumbs up for the ugly face in the video. <laughs> it is what it is, and that's just what it's gonna be, okay? So slick that hair up and make it do what it do because my hair, for some reason, grow all the way down the back of my neck like I'm a monkey or something, but child, slick that thing on up, and I ain't even rubbing it right. I'm just going out and in. I fixed it at the end. Y'all see the pictures at the end of this clip. But um, I'm so glad that I finally got my hair in this protective style. Shy, I am so glad I am finished. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't got to worry about my hair no more for a good little while. Maybe like two weeks. I ain't going to go long this time, y'all, to make it look ratchet like I did the last time. But anyway, child, I'm finished. I am finna look at them edges. Look at them edges. Ooh, that girl happy. Look at her smiling. I didn't want my ponytails to look like two balls. I can. Or they they kind of close together, so they kind of look like one piece, kind of, with a little dip in the middle. But you can separate them a little further if you want to, or do whatever you want to with them. They so cute, too. I like them. But anyways, you guys, this is the finished look. Y'all let me know how you guys like it. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this video, okay? <laughs> what am I doing? Girl, what you doing? I'm doing something to the back of my hair, girl. I don't know. Some, something. What is you doing? I think I was fixing a bobby pin, child. But anyways, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Girl, turn around so they can see the back of your hair. You sick of looking at you. Turn around. Yeah, I need to look at the kitchen. Look at the kitchen. I need to wash them dishes, honey. I'm going to get my guy to be glued, and I'm going to slick that up, okay? I'm going to take pictures of the finished product at the end of this video. And thank you guys so much for watching my goofy butt. I'm so happy. Go me. Go me. Go me. Go me. Hey, go me. And that's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.